Yeah, it's. Uh, I mean, Nepal always tend to find really hard. They play with a lot of passion. Uh, they always put up a big fight, and um, I think today we were quite lucky because um, I think they were 82 for one at some stage at the first drinks break. Yeah. A position where I think they were in command of the game, but um, we were very lucky to come back. Uh, well, lucky, good skill, but um, yeah, in the end, I would say deserved because we played all right straight after drinks. Yeah, very good win. I mean, um, I thought Nepal had uh, upper hand pretty much most of the game because uh, they had us four down early. Where I thought uh, the Seamers started off a bit too full. Um, we, we were able to score 50 or 7 overs. Well, after that, when um, Paras came into the attack and uh, Sompal obviously bowled very well at the start, and they um, brought their lengths a bit back and um, we, they, they was in a lot of trouble um, nicking guys off. Uh, good, good little partnership, and then obviously having three quick wickets uh, from the 37 and the 40, 42nd, the 37 to the 42nd over, which um, held back the momentum for us to, to score a bit quicker and to ball us out uh, for 190 was a great effort from them. I thought we were on course for a par score about 220, 230 on a wicket, which didn't play as well as we thought it was but in the end I think uh, we were a bit uh, under par and it's all just all credit to the bowlers of Nepal because they go very well. Well getting uh, Paras out straight after the drinks obviously helped because you know if um, if you get the wicket of Paras he's obviously a very very, um, very big player the best player in, in my opinion for, uh, from Nepal but um, that from there we also bowled a bit better because I think uh, you guys of Nepal scored and I had 50 in the first 10 and I would say about 35 to 40 runs were just in boundaries so they punished the bad ball um, and after that we didn't bowl many again and um, myself and Rippon um, brought it back nicely uh, with the spin.